So we wanted to take a few moments now just to share with you where the leadership team have landed regarding our Sunday morning gatherings in particular um, as we move into the COVID protection framework this week. I want to make it clear um, that this decision is for uh, December and January only. So December and January, and what the leadership team are going to do is they're going to reconvene mid-January um, to reassess things then. The COVID protection framework, um, or traffic lights as we know them, has put a, an incredible amount of pressure on people, on individuals, on businesses, organisations, um, and, and also on every church uh, across this nation as well to adjust and adapt um, as we move forward into this framework. SAJ has been preparing and planning for this over the last few weeks, and we wanted to thank all of you who have responded and helped us um, in some way, whether you completed the online survey that we put out, or maybe you've sent emails sharing your thoughts, or you've had a conversation with us just uh, about your heart in regard to it, or maybe you came along and, and shared in our day of prayer and fasting. Um, but we certainly have been aware as a, as a team as a leadership team, um, of your prayers and of your support um, from so many of you. And for that, we do say thank you. The leadership team have invested much time also in prayer and consultation and discussion as we've considered the implications for us moving forward. As a result of the prayer, and especially the day of prayer and fasting, some clear spiritual convictions um, have become our focus through this process. These spiritual convictions or foundation blocks have been central in our decision making and we want to honour these as much as possible moving forward. So I've got those um, um, on the screen there for you. Um, I don't know if you've got that there. There should be another folder with this information. Oh, there are, oh yeah, next one. Yes, very good. <laughs> there we go. So the first foundation block is we really value the coming together, the meeting together of believers. And that's based on Hebrews uh, chapter 10. There's a verse in Hebrews chapter 10 that says we've got to keep meeting together. It's important. And so we're saying this was a priority. We've got to find into the world today creative ways of staying connected. That was a priority. Really important that we continue journeying together, that we stay connected uh, moving forward. The second one was we want to maintain love and unity. Really important that we love one another and that we protect the unity of the Spirit, that we jealously guard, that we watch over unity. Um, we want to avoid any seeds of division. That was a really important spiritual foundation. And thirdly, that everyone is welcome. You know, we, we strongly believe in the gospel for the whosoever, that uh, we would be a church that would um, welcome everyone into our midst, and there's a number of scriptures that support that. So we're firmly committed to SAJ remaining, remaining a church that is for the whosoever, and we're committed to exploring ways we can, sh and can ensure this continues. There are no e easy decisions, and whatever we decide is going to affect each and every one of us in some way. We feel heavily the duty of care that we have to each of you, and especially to those who are more vulnerable. With all this in mind, we've made the decision to take a very cautious approach at this stage for both December and January. We know that when we enter the framework later this week that we'll either be in orange or red. Um, from the, uh, the government, they tell us very clearly, I don't know if you can read that, but red at red, it says that action is needed to protect the health system. System is facing unsustainable number of hospitalizations. Action is needed to protect at-risk populations. Even at Orange, it says there is increasing community tra transmission with increasing pressure on the health system. So here's the thing. Even though we might find ourselves um, in Orange, and even though there may not be a lot of community transmission initially in Wellington, um, we're expecting that the moment Auckland opens up is that that community transmission is going to increase across the country. We understand it. We, we believe that. And so, 
So the leadership team have decided that as of next Sunday, our morning services will be online only for both December and January. For December and January. We won't be gathering indoors as a larger group during this time. There's a number of reasons for that. But the leadership team will be meeting again uh, mid-January to assess the progress and impact of the new traffic-like framework and look at how we might plan for in-person Sunday gatherings. For Kids Church, through December, Cara will be in touch with all those affected as to how things will operate during this time. And we will also be looking at somehow including the Kids Church graduation into one of those online services in December. Plans are already well underway for our online Christmas Eve services, and we will keep you informed about those. January is a time when many people are away and things are more relaxed, but we will look to try and organise and plan for some um, outdoor picnics and events that we can, can do to complement the online services. We are the church. It's not the building. We, the people, you and I here in this room, those watching online, we are the church. The church is the people. Now is the time for us to look after each other. Don't wait for someone to contact you. What I'm saying is be the person to reach out to someone. I'm going to give you some ways, some keys for staying connected to, during this time. There's obviously the live stream. Um, then we're also saying, and, and we are very blessed at SAJ to have around 150, 160 people who are connected to small groups. So that's a real blessing, which means this is a key as we journey through these uh, coming few weeks is that, that we would stay connected in our life groups, keep connected. Other small group gatherings, walking groups, um, the craft group hap happened yesterday, I heard it was a great time. Um, there, are, there are many options for just getting together in smaller groups. And also informal outdoor gatherings are going to be important through the summer. Coffees also, phone calls, all those things. We really need to lift the intensity and focus during these weeks. So let me just uh, reinforce that decision. So as of next Sunday morning, our morning services will be online only through December and January. And we're going to review that mid-January. Leaders are going to gather and we'll reassess how things are progressing and we'll adjust as necessary then. And, uh, and so, as I said, this decision is going to, we're going to feel, feel differently about that, but it affects all of us. Um, and, you know, I especially, you know, I got a chocolate fish for being here for 10 weeks. I love gathering Sunday mornings. This is, you know, there's been tears. The leadership team, as we sat together, as we thought about this and talked about it, and, and there were tears. We wrestled with this. But I want to leave you with this, this uh, verse this morning. And it's from Isaiah 43. I was praying this morning, and, and as I was praying about this time, you know, uh, the word, two words dropped in straight away. I said, God, you know, what are you saying? Uh, actually, it was three, three words. It was another level. That's four words. Sorry. <laughs> I can't count. Another level of glory. How about that? S-A-J. Here's the word of the Lord for S-A-J. Another level of glory is coming. Six words. Here we go. Another <laughs> level of glory. And so I'm believing that. You know, as we go through this time, that we're going to come out stronger as a church. You know, God loves his church, and he wants the very best for us. Um, and so here it is, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am a doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way. Amen? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So God is going to make a way, and I'm really believing that. We're going we're to move from glory to glory as we trust in him during this time. Well, let's, let's share in a prayer together. Today. Father, we thank you that you are the God who is above all, you're over all, you're in control. And Lord, you're on your throne. And, and Lord, as we move into these coming weeks, Lord, many of us 
will no doubt be taking leave, having a break. Um, Lord, seeing family. Lord, I pray that you would uh, be central in our conversations. Be central in uh, wherever we find ourselves during this time. Lord, I pray that as we uh, take that break, that we'd come back into a new year refreshed, ready for another level of glory for all that you would have for us in 2022. Help us to look after each other. Lord, help us to stay connected. Help us to journey together um, during this time, I pray. Be with us now. In Jesus' name, amen. So as of next Sunday morning, so the, we'll be kicking off the, the Christmas, the first of the um, Christmas series, He's Still the Light. Um, please make sure you tune into that. And, uh, and we'll keep you updated with, as I said, with Kids Church and, and other things as we go along. God bless you. Thanks for listening.